My name is Leslie Daigle and I'm the Chief Internet Technology Officer for the Internet Society and I'd like to tell you about the World IPv6 launch which is happening on June 6th of 2012. This is an event that the Internet Society is quite pleased to be hosting as a collaboration between a number of content providers, service providers and hardware manufacturers around the globe. It is the day on which uh, all of these organizations that are participating will turn on commercial grade IPv6 services. So the participating service providers such as uh, Time Warner Cable, Comcast, AT&T in the US, Access for All in Europe and KDDI are turning on IPv6 access to their existing customers and new customers. Top Alexa ranked content providers such as Google, Facebook and Yahoo are also turning on IPv6 on their main websites for good as of June 6th. This is a really important step for the internet because at this point the internet that we know today runs on IPv4 addresses but there are only 4 billion addresses in the IPv4 address space. Given that that's fewer than there are people on the face of the planet we need to move on from there and IPv6 is that ne next step forward. So what does this mean for you as a user? Well, if we do it right, you won't notice a thing. It will just smoothly be a transition from the internet that you know today, that's flexible, open, upon which you can run whatever new services and software that you have and are interested in. But if things don't move smoothly, if the progress towards IPv6 isn't moved along quickly at this point, you will find that the coping mechanisms to deal with a runout of IPv4 addresses are going to cause problems for some of your games that won't run as smoothly, some access to some websites will be more difficult or blocked, and in general it just won't be the internet that you know and love today. So what can you do about it? Well, you can certainly look at the website for this activity, worldipv6launch.org, and take a look at who's participating. See if your access provider is listed among our participants. And if not, give them a ring. Ask them when they're planning to offer you IPv6 service. And certainly, we look forward to seeing the, the IPv6 internet after June 6th, and hope you'll be there too.